here, I am excited to show you how to set up your Raz Plus account so that you can assign your students books and running records on Raz Kids and use it um, very effectively with distance learning. So I am all signed in. I verified my account. The next step that I need to do is click manage students and then add students. You may see some different crazy names that come with your account. If you click replace my current roster, it will let you have 36 total spaces. That's the max that you can have. What you need to do is type in a student username. This will be what students see. Students can see all of each other's names. So you may need to include last initials and then you can choose their reading level. What's great about this scale is even if you don't use the alphabet Fontes and Pinnell levels, when you hover over them, it shows you um, a bunch of different comparisons. So that way you can hopefully have the information that you need. Then you can choose picture or text passwords for your students, and you can just go through and add many students all at the same time. So I'm gonna add three students right now just for the purpose of an example that I would like to show you in just a moment. After you have all of your students added, you can do a full class at once. Just make sure you hit save, and it will take you to your full class roster. You could get here by going to my classroom and then clicking the class roster button. This is kind of your central place to do many things. The first thing that you can do is of course see their passwords. You can create student groups. Um, and this is a really helpful feature, especially if you're gonna be assigning things to students. So with groups, if you click the pencil, you need to select students first. So I want to put Casey and Ashley in a group together. Maybe they meet in the same reading group or they have the same reading level. And then if you click the pencil and you would like to put them both in the yellow group, you can click the add button. It would also be the same to check a box for a group that's already there and click add. And then they both show up in the yellow group. So now I can add Andy to a different group. And then when I'm assigning homeworks, in a later video, um, it would allow me to give the same assignment to all the students in the yellow group at the same time, which is a great time saver. Um, incentives are just whether or not students are allowed to change and do settings for their little robot character and his rocket ship. Um, when I'm in the classroom, I let my students do this on Fridays so that we're spending our time reading. This chooses if students get the primary or intermediate view on their portal. And then the next tab over allows you to adjust reading levels and change the language for students. Um, the last important detail that you need to know is your username, which you can find up top, is essential for helping your students get logged in.